what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm jasmine lee and today i'm going to be talking to you guys about casting call do's and don'ts for all my aspiring models <clears throat> women who are already in the business and have you know insight to share get at me shoot me an email if you ever want to be interviewed or you want to chop it up about our experiences feel free to get at me but today's video is going to be all about casting call do's and don'ts and this is more so based on my experience um, my channel is going to be a place of community for aspiring models, so if you are interested in that, feel free to leave a comment below on your experience with casting calls. If you feel like I left anything out, feel free to leave that comment down below. Thank you in advance for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead, check out a few of my videos, see if anything interests you. And if it does, then if it's something that you just like, if you catch the vibe, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys and stay tuned. All right, so first things first, hopefully I'm not all over the place. I'm gonna try to use the blog post I made to, as my guideline, but I may throw a few things in this video that I didn't write in the blog post. So um, the first one is being on time. So being on time is crucial. You may have registration that has to be done. You may have to like be in line to make sure that you're signed up for that casting call or whatever the case may be. You may have to search for parking. You may have gotten lost on the way there if it's like an area you're not familiar with. So you wanna at least leave 15 to 20 minutes ahead of time, maybe more. It just depends on your distance. Like make sure that you Google it and see where it's at beforehand. Um, another thing I like to do, um, and this is because I was on the bus a lot, so I would do like a dry run maybe a week ahead of time or a couple days ahead of time just so I'm familiar with where I'm going what buses I'm catching, what areas I'm gonna be in. Make sure that you're present and in the moment. So when you're there, make sure that your your mental is there. Like you can't even fully give your all to this casting if you're not in your zone. Like you gotta bring your A game, be present, be professional, be courteous. You wanna just be polite. Like treat everyone the way you wanna be treated. And essentially you wanna think of your casting calls and your go sees as an interview, like a job interview, because essentially it is. And you wouldn't go to like your average nine to five job interview and act the fool. So think of that the same way. You gotta carry with the same level of professionalism and courteousness. You wanna listen, make sure you're following directions if sometimes they have a certain choreograph uh choreography that they want you to follow so make sure that you are paying attention one that's a part of being present and make sure that you follow the directions they may want you to stop at a certain point along the runway pose keep walking to the end of the runway hit another pose and then on your way back walk all the way through now if you weren't paying attention then you might you know, walk up, pose, go to the end, pose, come back, halfway, pose, and that's not what you're supposed to do. So that automatically nixes you for your shot at that casting. So pay attention, be aware, and be mindful. Wear something simple. Normally castings want you to wear something that's all black, and they'll either have you have your hair pulled back, you want little to no makeup. So like, even right now, like, I'd be ready for a casting if I were to get called like I have on just you know a full black um bodysuit like cat suit and um my hair is like down but I could always pin it back out my face I have on no makeup so that's how you want to appear to a casting they normally want to see you as a blank canvas and this is something that I don't think is talked about too much or talked about enough because I just always see girls with like a full like drag beat like at a casting and it's just like that's not really what they want normally normally now if you're on a local level like i am they probably don't even care or take it that seriously but that's just like i'm coming from like og tyra days where like that those are the models i used to study in there were certain things that you just don't do um i don't know if the industry has changed because i never got into the doors of being signed but 
I'm assuming that it's still very much the same in that regard. Practice beforehand. So if you're nervous about your walk, if you got um, a new pair of shoes, which I don't recommend walking in is new shoes, make sure that you're just practicing your walk beforehand. Get your stride right. Um, a lot of the times for me, what I used to do was I would practice and I would be confident in everything, but then I get in a room full of people and I just like kind of got a little scared and so like not scared but like just nervous a little bit so I'd walk a little faster than my normal stride is but once I got booked in the show and I'd be on the runway I'm completely comfortable I don't know what that is and I hope it's a fear or an anxiety that I get over but I don't know you want to give it your all so give your best walk wear your best pair of jeans that hug you just right your best t-shirt like i know you have to go in there looking like a plain jane but you don't have to go looking like moo moo give it your all um in every aspect of the word make sure you have your natural glow drink all your water eat breakfast like make sure you are your best self give it your all go hard or go home wear shoes that are over are well normally it's four inches or more but make sure that you can walk in them. So they need to be minimum of four inches, but that you can at least walk in. Um, you can always bring slides or bring sneakers with you and change them, you know, once you get into the venue. We're gonna get into the don'ts. Um, you don't wanna be loud or aggressive. The loudest person in the room, in my experiences, hasn't always been the best, the most confident or talented person in the room. So don't mistake loudness um, for confidence you don't always have to be like look at me in order to be seen some confidence is quiet don't be too aggressive you want to make sure that you understand the difference between aggression uh, well aggressiveness and assertiveness um, one has a positive connotation and lends itself to a go-getter someone who just handles their business and gets what they need and, and gets the job done and leaves. The other lends itself to somebody who is very um, just negative, maybe a little pushy, a little domineering. You wanna just learn the difference between the two and make sure that you always carry yourself as an assertive woman or man, not an aggressive woman or man. Learn the difference and act accordingly. Oh, you don't wanna wear anything patterned, colored, or too loud. Again, loudness is in that sense of the word is not really recommended um, unless you're told to wear that. Don't worry about other people. I was like, I have like a puppy kind of personality. So I'm like all friendly for the most part. Like I'm, I'm timid at first, but then when I get comfortable in my environment, then that's when you'll see me mingle and you know, be like myself. And um, there was times where I would, you know, speak to girls and, you know, just try to chop it up with them and get met with like a really crappy attitude. And a lot of the times it's the girls who think they're everything because they have a few more followers on social media. And I'm just like, dude, like I've spoken with company owners in person that are nicer than you. Like, you know, million dollar people, Hollywood celebrities, like, who are you like humble yourself just you always want to come into a room humble no matter how big you get like you should just carry yourself humble it's way more attractive it books you more work and that's all i gotta say about that don't psych yourself out um other people are going to do that for you do not psych yourself out know that you deserve to be in that space just as much as anybody else and there's nothing no one else can say about it besides the people who are judging your walk. Like, they're gonna be the ones determining, you know, if it's a yes or no. And that's just for that moment. Really, God has to say so over everything. So, keep your confidence level high. Keep your faith in yourself high, even if you don't hear what you wanna hear. Um, a lot of the times, like with me personally, where my psych out will come in is watching the other girls walk and then comparing my walk to their walk. Granted, I don't even see myself walk, so I don't know how I look. People always tell me about my walk and I don't, I've never really seen my walk, so I don't know. But 
don't do that like if you're anything like me and that's one of the things that bothers you try to look away try to distract yourself daydream whatever you got to do until it's your turn to go and then when you go turn it all the way up don't let up put your foot on next and don't let up okay <laughs> but no for real um just make sure that you show up and show out for yourself first and foremost and know that you deserve to be there just as much as anyone else establish your space and own your space and you'll be okay don't be defensive of any criticism or critique you get i have seen it where some women will be like super offended at you know what the model coach or what the judges might say but it's just like that's their event sis whatever they had whatever they were looking for you weren't it so you cannot argue with people if it's a no the last thing you want them to say about you is that girl that mm, you can't do nothing with her because she don't even take her l's with grace like you always want to take your l's with grace like take it with grace that's all i'm gonna say you gotta just make sure that if it's something that you know you can benefit from make sure that you're listening thank them for their time and their consideration just you know be humble and show gratitude and keep it pushing and if it's something that you know is like doesn't apply to you still thank you and keep it pushing like either way you're there for them and if they didn't want it they don't have to take it but never let the praise go to your head and never let the criticism get to your heart so that's all i have to say about that that is my do's and don'ts of castings if you feel like i left anything out um or there's something that you want me to elaborate on feel free to comment down below i will definitely respond and um what else oh bonus tip if you have business cards composite cards um a 9 by 12 physical portfolio book or like a digital portfolio that um is on like a ipad like a tablet large enough for someone to look through feel free to bring that even like a little polaroid snapshot like of your full body shot and like a little head shot simple those are things that might help you stand out keep in mind that just because you may not be chosen for this job doesn't mean that they can't keep those pictures aside and keep you in consideration for and the next job or a magazine or if they need to shoot promotional for the the show and the collection or whatever it is just make sure that you are well prepared definitely make sure that your hands and nails um i'm sorry your hands and your feet are well manicured i normally keep my stuff plain um or keep like a muted color even though i do like to get a little funky every now and then but i just make sure that i don't have any like paid gigs where that will bother anyone i'm always considerate enough to ask someone like when i do go out and get my nails done all extravagant and stuff i make sure i ask them hey do you mind my nails look like this i'll send them a picture and da 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 even with my hair if they you know essentially i'm getting hired to be a human clothes hanger so I make sure that I communicate and ask them, you know, how's my hair? Is this cool? Do I need to wear it a certain way? Blah, 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 blah. And that's more shoot etiquette. So I'll get into that in another video. But if you did enjoy this video, if you learned something, if it was helpful, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate the love and support from everyone. And... Thanks for watching. I'm gone. Bye.